Hi there, are you a spiritualist? Are you a person who believes in spiritualism and you happen to have a degree? Well, that makes you apparently a scientist now. Oh yes, because you may well believe in things that are supposedly meant to be real according to belief, and you happen to have a scientific background. Yes, there are nurses, there are doctors, there are lawyers, there are any number of different people who are involved with paranormal investigations, and more often, people involved in the actual religion of spiritualism. Many of them have a light belief anyway, many of them are fence-sitters, and that's why many of them get into those sorts of, well, perspectives, those sorts of views. They go to the spiritualist church, they do healing therapies, or if they're actually a person who cares about the facts, they'll try and investigate these things, but when they find something which is just about enough to make them believe or make them accept certain ideas as being true, they will buy into it because they want to believe. I'm not saying that's the case in every single case, certainly not, it's certainly not the point of this video to say that that is the way it is, it's a question of saying that regardless of your qualifications, you're not proving the belief by simply being a person with a somewhat higher, well, higher educational academic background and you happen to be a believer, it doesn't prove shit. If Stephen Hawking tomorrow, or Lawrence Krauss, or whomsoever, basically decided to convert and become a spiritualist. Would it confirm spiritualism? Would the huge numbers, thousands upon thousands of scientists in the Muslim world, does that confirm Islam? Do the huge number of Christians who are medical doctors, does that confirm that Christianity is scientific, that it's the true worldview? No. So I don't know why you're playing this game. It simply does not work. It's an ill-thought-out argument which doesn't really hold any water whatsoever. So try again.